This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, December the 14th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at noon today. We have a system moving into the Central Plain states. You can see with that disturbance right there over Kansas, Oklahoma, that's going to be producing a little bit of thunderstorm activity possible across Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. It also will be bringing in some rain into the state later on today and especially into tonight. We've had some drizzle off and on for the last several days. Highs will be well into the 50s across the state. You better enjoy it because we're not going to see anything close to that for the next couple of weeks. System will move in Sunday night, tonight into Monday. Some of it may mix with a little bit, the rain may mix with a little bit of sleet or snow by the afternoon in our northwestern counties, and that will swing across the state, but a lot of the precipitation will be moving out as the cold air comes in. So any accumulating snows that we may see would be over the far northwestern counties, the quarter of the state, where they could see an inch or so. Otherwise, then it moves off to the east Tuesday. Slow clearing. Readings will be down in the upper 20s, low 30s, and that will be the case here as we move into um, Wednesday as well. Now, we have another system moving in across the southern plains. Now, the GFS yesterday showed this storm was going to turn northeasterly, but here's the difference. Here's a high-pressure system over the Dakotas. That's keeping the dry air and it's keeping this storm to our south from moving in our direction. So the only things we could see is maybe a couple of increased clouds over our southern counties as we move in toward the end of the week. Could clip the southern and southeastern counties with a little bit of snow. It's very early to determine any possible accumulations at this point. But it looks like the system will be moving off by the time we get into next weekend here on Saturday. As high pressure moves in, temperatures still remaining in likely the upper 20s through the lower to middle 30s, maybe a degree or two cooler than that, depending on if we get any snow cover around and depending on cloud cover. Next Sunday, here's another disturbance over the south and west. We'll have to watch this just in case it may decide to turn northeasterly. But otherwise, temperatures are still going to be near seasonal levels in the upper 20s to lower to middle 30s. It's not going to be in the 50s today, or like it is today, so you need to enjoy today because it may be the last one you see for a while looking at what we're seeing in the coming days and weeks. Speaking of the coming days and weeks, this is Christmas Day, the 25th. You see the flow is coming straight from the Yukon, Northwest Territories, down through the Prairie Provinces of Canada, through the Northern Plains, into the state from the Northwest. It's also with the disturbance bringing us some light snow, maybe some moderate snow if this is right. We've seen this on runs. Big bomb storm over the New England states could produce a lot of snow up there. A little bit of snow and maybe valley rain in Northern California. At the end of the forecast, the 29th of December, we have a flow that's coming somewhat out of the Pacific, although it comes into the Pacific, dives into Southern California where there looks to be a storm, and then swings across the country. With that, we'd have a flow from the west. That might boost the temperatures up to near freezing, maybe a couple degrees above it. Could see some precipitation. Could be in the form of rain and or snow and or a mix of the two. Another system off to the west will have to be watched toward New Year's Eve. Satellite image from last evening. You see the system moving into the high plains. You see the clouds extending from the Dakotas through Nebraska into Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, and the disturbance over western Colorado and New Mexico will be the kicker that will move it into our direction. Watch morning map from last evening. Fog was the number one story across the upper Midwest. A couple winter weather issues out east, frost advisory in northern Florida, some winter weather issues out in the Rockies, and a child abduction emergency in Texas. QBF chart precipitation over the next five days. This goes through Thursday or Thursday evening at 6 o'clock showing the heaviest rain off to our south and off to our west once again.